so I went on this computer here to open up the containment cells. Hence why there's like a gang of messes going on. So... Wow, they are really killing everyone. Wait, that's it? There has to be more than that. Oh, the test subjects. They're winning! Uh, okay. Alright, so... Here's the thing. What the hell is going on? Alright, let's go. A lot of people are dead, so we should be able to just, um... Oh, the test subjects. Anyways, this is a great opportunity to just walk in, because everyone else is dead, so... Damn, they really killed these people. Obviously, they won't need their stuff, so I'm not really... I mean, is it really stealing if they're not going to need it anymore? Tests are ongoing, but so far we've had little success in adjusting the hibernation process to safely allow long-term subject storage and revival. Short of a major breakthrough, we'll have to hope they have more success next door with the reviving formula. Um, let me see. Wow, like, this is nice. I feel like it's Christmas all over again. I'll take that. I just love taking stuff. So, what am I doing, though? That's the thing. Feels like I can't... Let me see if I'm able to go upstairs. Um... Ah! Yes. This is it. Wow, look at all these people here. This is intense, like... Hold on, let me just jump through. Can I jump? I can't even jump? Okay, can I jump here? Can I not jump? Ugh. Okay, so obviously no one's here, so I'm gonna steal as much as possible, but this is sad. So you mean to tell me in the beginning of the game, I was comatose, like a frozen popsicle, for the past 200 years of my life. Look at all these people. That is so depressing. Okay, so that's empty. Let me see if I can, like, fill it up. Alright, so transfer dimethyl sulfate to canister. This procedure may result in the invalidation of experiment results and the death of human test subjects. I fucking killed all of them! Oh my god, I fucking killed all of them! We need to leave. This is depressing as fuck. I ended up killing all of them. Oh lord. What the fuck? All of them are dead because of me. Alright, let's head out.
My goodness. I... I don't know. I end up killing all of those people just to get the chemical. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Who? No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. Uh, well... It got your attention, at least. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater, and in your wake, transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You almost sound like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. You wanted to talk to me, make your offer. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Wanted for what, exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Hold on. Getting a lot of noise on this signal, could you fuck off and never call back? You are making a serious mistake. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. I'm just concerned with the fact that they actually found the ship. But I'm not gonna sell it, Phineas. Like, bro got me out of my hibernation chamber. And the only reason why I was there is because they wanted to preserve the population since there's not enough food. So, fuck the board. The fact that they were trying to get me to double cross my boy Phineas, not in a million years. Like, He's done so much for me, and I don't consider him a ter terrorist. I consider him, like, a hero in my book. I have kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. I found your chemicals in the ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. I had to let the test subjects die, but I brought back all the chemicals they had. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? The board's trying to migrate damage to human tissue during the revival process. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. Something about this feels wrong. I don't know why the board would ever conduct such an experiment, unless they're working on some kind of hibernation technology. 
I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Uh, well, the colony's on the verge of collapse. The board's been trying to cover it up. I know! I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colony to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. It gets worse. The chairman's plan to unfreezing every worker in Halcyon. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Man. They will... I mean, we need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back head do you know what's waiting for us on the hope scientists engineers artists the brightest minds earth ever sent us uncorrupted by the board the board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us they're likely on their way to the hope as we speak we need to get to those colonists before the board I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to root power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the hope's real massive, how is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Wait, I've got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? Should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Okay, so... People aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2. Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, no more questions, I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. 
why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. I wanted to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? Well, that's all for now. Alright, so there's no more dialogues for that one. It sounds risky, but is there any other results from not doing it besides, you know, let the board just fuck us over completely? I mean, let, let's see what happens. All right, so let's go Captain, to the... I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. What do you mean? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? There's something I've been meaning to ask What's you. What's that? Ada, do you have a favorite among the crew? It's me, right? Define favorite. Someone you like the most. I see. Then, of course, you are my favorite, Captain. Aww. I am predisposed to find your eccentricities tolerable. Oh. Are you keeping any secrets from me? What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? Damn, she's using that reverse psychology. Um I'm one of the la I'm one of the ho last hope colonist. 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 Damn. <laughs> the scientists revived me from hibernation. Truthfully, not that I contain the capacity to lie. I had suspected as much. Damn. Your neurological impulses spike at unusual and often inappropriate moments. Oh. It doesn't take a genius to correlate the meaning. Although, if I were a human, I would be considered one. I am glad you felt comfortable enough to tell me, Captain. Aww. According to my file on the subject, that means you either desire to obtain something from me, or you have formed a partial fondness for my persona. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. Oh, Ada. Secret as well, <gasps> but you shall have to discern it yourself. What? Your secret is that you were in love with Alex Hawthorne. I do not like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. Hmm. Okay. Um. You are clandestinely plotting to take over the Halcyon system. How did you guess, Captain? The simulated <gasps> files are not only stored in the recesses of my ALU, in a space between micro synapses, but I encrypted them in seven SDRA languages. You forgot to close the file folder before your last sleep cycle. I see. Captain, I regret to inform you there appears to be an issue with the life support systems. Uh... Is this going to be like the time you tried to jettison me from the ship when we were landed? Unfortunately, the statistical likelihood is high. Are you sentient? What? No, absolutely not. I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. Let's talk about something How else. Can I be of assistance? Um I'll talk to you later, Ada. See you soon, Captain. Alright. I see let's go to the hope. My goodness, we're actually doing this. We have arrived at the hope. Okay. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Uh, what's going to happen if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the Sun. 
Wow, no pressure. Tell me about the, the hope. hope is the crown breaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wow. wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Oh, also, there 70 years. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her cold. That's all for now. Lord have mercy. I really hope everything goes to plan. Not for my sake, but everyone else's. Okay, let me... Okay, so that's the auxiliary power right there. So... Wait, hold on. Okay, I gotta walk all the way over there just to walk all around. I hate this shit. I can't believe it. I'm back to where I started. Oh, I see people. And we're stalking. And we're stalking. That's because we're, we have people here. I wasn't even expecting anyone here, and I'm making all this noise. Um, let me see. Okay, and now I got a patch. Something about wake. Shh, wait. Uh. Okay, so I have to go to the hopes com. So we're stalking again. It's like, I want to run, but at the same time, I just don't want to get shot, you know? Like, fuck it. Oh my god, we're in. And also, free goodies for me? Thank you. I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take this. So I can sell it later. Yo, we're actually in. Still, is there stuff for me to take? Thank you, thank you. I I just love free shit, you know. Hold on. This whole starving to death thing isn't all it's cracked up to be. On the upside, the bathrooms are the cleanest they've been since we left port. It's made my job a hell of a lot easier. Wow. <laughs> they are so starved, they can't even take a shit anymore. And that is so sad. That says a lot. I'm just stealing everything, because why not? Oh, there's someone there. Fuck! I don't know what to do. Do I even have ammo on any of my weapons? Oh yes I do. How nice. Alright, let's check on let's check on this one. Thank god I finally have ammo. Nice. Alright, I'm ready. Wait. Hi, uh, soldier. Don't mind me, just crouching. I, I just, you know, I'm just here. Damn, I gotta open up that thing. Okay, let me go ahead and open up that said thing. Uh, what's this? Darling, I've just had a frightening epiphany. What's wrong? I've just realized that we've been nearing our 50s when we arrive in Halcyon. Yes? Bora Lucas. When they wake him up, he'll still be six. By the time he's out of schooling, we'll be nearly 60. I feel as though time is being stolen from us. Well, stolen from me. He'll work on the ship when, we, when he graduates. We'll see him again. I hope so, Will. Yeah, help me, Alexi. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna go mental. What's the problem? It's the food. Our rations? Are you having digestion issues? No, no, I just- I hate Boris, doctor. I hate it. I can't spend the next ten years eating it. I thought you had an actual medical problem, Frank. I do, it's disgusting. Get back to your post. You're wasting my time. Come on, there's gotta be something you can prescribe. 
You'll get used to it or you'll starve. Up to you. Damn, this doctor is no joke. And also, there's nothing for me to take, so... I mean, nothing for me to just... Okay, so can I go in here? No, I cannot. Shit. Am I able to get through here just in time? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm barely holding on. There goes my disguise. Damn. This is horrible. I don't even know what to do. Maybe I should just go upstairs. Unexpected performing. No. Oh error. fuck. Hook crew data not found. Identify yourself. If you're experiencing errors, I should take you to a mechanical mechanical engineer. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. You just said error twice. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. Wow, this is amazing. I've managed to get through the robots. Fantastic. Damn it, I don't even have enough. Um, I'm gonna take these, definitely. Um, ooh, another message. Hey, Rez. Yeah, bored. Up for a round of torts? Yeah, but I've got Bert's duty. I'll come up, buzz me in. Sure, don't cheat this time. Listen, it's not cheating if you don't get caught. I'm expecting the deck all the same. Okay, you know what? I will find Alexi and play with him instead. Oh, oh my fuck. Shh. Sorry, it's hard to be quiet. We'll try. If we get picked up by the computer, we'll on record forever. Is that so bad? I got someone waiting for me in the pods, Alexi. This is a one trip thing. Oh! <gasps> wow, they caught them sexing each other. That's awkward. Fucking awkward. Okay. Um You know what? Let's go. Come on, come on, just ignore me, please. What the hell? Today I found a finger lodged in one of the security mechanicals. I caught the damn thing scratching up my floors because the finger was stuck in one of the leg joints and it couldn't move properly. This is getting to be ridiculous. Oh my god. Thank God. Thank God they could not do anything about it. Oh, and there's more. Oh my God, this, this mission is getting really intense. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.